currently <laughs> on the way to Target. I made a mini Target run last night because I was trying to find some stuff for a video and I realized that this Target had a crap ton of bathing suits out and so um, today when I woke up I was like I just really want to go back and like look at them so I decided I would do like a little follow me around vlog. You guys know I do this pretty much every once in a while like whenever Target kind of updates their fashion or whenever they update their bathing suits because I, I might have a small problem. I might be mildly obsessed with Target somewhere. I have a giant coffee as well because not wired enough apparently. My current drink, by the way, every time that I mention Starbucks in a video, people always ask, what are you drinking? So right now, it is a latte with almond milk, an extra shot, and two pumps of hazelnut syrup. And it's freaking delicious. Yeah, I'm on my way. I think that's all I had to tell you guys. I'm really, really, really excited because there's a lot of cute stuff out. Oh, and I took like a mini poll on Twitter and just asked like whether you guys prefer iPhone vlogs or you know the camera or if you don't care. And 99% of you said the iPhone was fine. Um, literally, I think it was like like 95%, so not 99%, that was misleading. But um, yeah, I did like a poll and most people said it was fine, which is really nice because it's a lot less, I don't know, scary sometimes for me to vlog on an iPhone. Um, especially when I'm shopping and stuff like that, I can get like kind of self-conscious just about like, <laughs> vlogging and I know that people say that like as you do it more you get over it so clearly I, I just need to get more practice in right like that's my problem here um, but I will see you guys at Target this Target is a little bit of ways away from my home like maybe 20 or so minutes and we had to just stop for gas because a 20 minute road trip props and my friend was going inside because um, he was oh by the way that's the noise that my car makes no you're good go ahead and start it you're totally fine um that's the noise that my car makes because something fell down into the air vent and so something is caught there so every time the air conditioning comes on it makes a noise so he was going inside to go and pay for gas like to prepay and then pump out here and while he was doing it i saw him he held the door for this nice looking older man dressed well i mean just seemed very presentable nice man and the guy was obviously thankful was he like nice to you basically my friend held the door for him and then I saw the guy pick up something off the floor. So when he came back out, my friend, I was just like, hey, like check your pockets and everything. Um, because like that guy picked up something and it was his lighter. Like he dropped his lighter. This older man who he held the door for saw this happen and just pocketed the lighter. <laughs> At least it's not like a debit card or anything important. Dun, 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 dun. It's so colorful. There's so many new styles from the last time I was here. I feel like I was just here like a month ago. And half of this stuff definitely was not here. Oh my God, that lobster, freaking beach towel. This first suit I found is really cute. It reminds me of like Lily Pulitzer, which I feel like I said about a different suit here last time, but it's just like really colorful with gold. And I like everything. There are some that I saw last time. Like I said, it was just here a month ago, but ooh, actually this one I saw last time and I really liked it. I did not wind up getting it, but yeah, ooh, this is really pretty too. I just like bright colors this time of year, especially because for once you girl is tan. I mean, that's tan for me. This one's really cool because it has like this netting design on the front. I've seen a lot of swim uh, pieces do this at Target where like, it's like a basic halter. You'll have to see it on, but it has like this net detail and it kind of looks like mermaidy. Um, it's really, really pretty. And the actual straps have like little tassels. They're really cute. So I think I'm actually gonna grab this top if I can find my size. I just found this top that I freaking love. I can't find a pair of bottoms. So I just grabbed some high-waisted black ones, but like, look at this. Of course, uh, it, it's upside down. There's no way to hold this. I'll just have to try it on, but I like the color and the style a lot. It's like crochet. There was a small child um, who was talking to his mother because like we're over in the clothing section, obviously. And um, he was yelling at his mom, we came to Target for cat food, not clothes, like me. I just asked my friend if he likes this. No, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out on the video. And he said it was too little house on the prairie. And I'm sad because I really, really like it. Target dresses are my favorite dresses. And I really like this blue one a lot. And there's like this really pretty cardigan over top. And yeah, there's like a lot of burnt orange this season, which I love. Fun fact, I'm never really a huge fan of Target like denim or anything like that, but they have these really, really nice shorts right now. Um, like I really like this color a lot. And I'm looking for things for Coachella at the moment, so. I actually really like these and they're so insanely soft and comfy, but they look like denim. So this Target is really empty and they gave me this massive freaking family sized dressing room so that I can try everything on and I'm just like so happy right now. Actually, I'll give you guys a quick little like OTD if you wanted it. So my dress and the belt are both from Forever 21. They came together. This was like a $14 dress from Forever 21. It's actually 
really super duper cute. And then um, my flip flops are just Havana's, is that how you say them? And uh, tonight I'm actually gonna switch them out for like wedges or something and put on a pretty necklace, but <laughs> just really like, running around Target, I kept it really simple. So now I will start with the try on. This first one with the netting is so, so cute. I really love it a lot. I've kind of avoided um, like more low riding like swim bottoms this past year because I definitely have a few new stretch marks through here. It's okay that you have them. They're nothing to be embarrassed about, but it is like a new addition. Certainly branching a bit out of my personal comfort zone at the moment um, for these, but I really, really, really like it. It's like such a pretty color combination. Like I love um, the pink underneath and it looks like it's just been splattered with like blue acid or something. It's so freaking cute. I love the top. Bottoms are fine. They just don't have like a ton, a ton, a ton of coverage. So yeah, but it's actually a really cute suit. I like it a lot. Um, and it's in like the maybe pile. This one I'm not so much a fan of. Um, it just really kind of digs in. What's funny is the other suit um, that I literally just tried on is the same brand, same sizing, everything and everything. And this one is just a little bit tighter. So I don't think that this is going to be a buy for me, but I really love the print. I love that gold detail. This is like a bandeau top, but I put on the optional little strap. The bottoms honestly just have like minimal coverage. So yeah, this one's going to be a pass, but I do really, really like it. I wound up going with some fuller coverage bottoms for the suit, and I'm actually a huge, huge fan of the coverage on these. Um, and I like the way that it kind of like polishes off this colored lock suit. I've never had a suit like this before, and I think it's really cute. The way that the back is, the back is like super strange and really strappy and I don't know I'm just like not the most massive fan but I do really like the top itself and I love the bottoms actually they're really nice um like rise they're not like super high cut but they're not low rising either and I kind of like to have a healthy mix of everything in it swim season so actually this is my favorite soup so far suit soup <laughs> so far uh, and I have another top you guys can see it right there that I'm going to try on with these black bottoms too so yeah, so far this is the winner. This is tricky because I like the way that this top looks better um, like when I'm showing it than it actually looks on. I guess I wish it was just a little bit longer, like I just sort of think the bust looks awkward and sort of squished the way that it is. Um, but I love the high neck and I have never found a bathing suit like this before. It does feel quite delicate in the sense that like the crochet is very very thin, so I don't feel like maybe it would be the most long-lasting bathing suit but it is really cute i love the color for summer um especially with tan but i would just i feel like i would find myself constantly pulling down at this i just don't like what it does to the best so um, i think it's gonna be a skip sadly but i do like it especially in photos so the last suit is actually really super cute and so comfortable i love the bottoms on this so much sorry i uh, gave myself a little scratch right there but I actually think that the coverage on these is pretty, pretty good. And then the top that I grabbed um, is just a little bit too big up top. Like, the cup size is just too large. But this one's really cute. And then that was pretty much it for bikinis, as you can see. <laughs> I have, like, some clothes and whatnot to try on. This one's so cute that I'm debating just grabbing a smaller size on the top. Because I don't know how to explain it. The suit itself is just really comfy, which I find is hard sometimes with swimsuits. Is actually, like finding ones that are comfortable to wear, you know what I mean? I actually love this top so insanely much. I just think it's really freaking cute. I love the crochet on it. And then the shorts are okay. Um, I actually have much more comfy, like, black lace shorts at home. And, oh, I just realized these aren't black lace shorts. I thought that I was grabbing a specific pair of shorts, but these are just, like, plain black. Like, there's nothing special about them, so that's kind of sad, but... Yeah, I like the outfit. I have something similar that I can wear. These have pockets though, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I really like the top, so I'm gonna be getting it. Like, look at how cute this is with the kimono over top. I'm gonna skip this one just because I don't feel like any of these colors tie in. If they do have a cream one, I feel like this one would be really good over top or like black or anything, but this outfit overall is freaking adorable. So I'm not a fan of these shorts. I, they're fine, they're comfy. Um, but I actually think that this would look cuter with like a denim skirt and I have one at my house that would look really freaking cute with it and I like the top a lot. Um, it's just like a little tiny crop top and I love the pattern and everything on it. It's just so pretty. So I really liked this dress um, but I'm not a huge fan. It's so baggy but I feel like if I went down a size the waist would be way too tight and I just don't like where it hits normally with me. Um, I like things that hit a little bit higher up here at like the smallest point. Um, but I just feel like if I size down, this would not be very cute. So I think this is absolutely going to be a pass. I just cannot think of a way to fix this or 
make it more wearable or anything like that. I'm actually not a huge fan either of all of the embellishment and stuff. Just looks kind of cheap. Last thing is this really cute little floral dress, and I can't quite make up my mind on this one. It's more like a baby doll fit. I'll probably ask on Snapchat really quick and see what you guys think. It makes me think of my mom, not in the sense that like it's old or anything like that, just in the sense that she loves this color and she loves florals. So yeah, that's actually it. I have a couple of things I'm going to purchase and some things I'm definitely going to skip. Overall, it was a pretty good little shopping trip. Um, this is the only thing that I'm undecided about. Everything else, I know whether I'm going to get it or not, so I'll have to mull this one over. But now, whew, I'm gonna fix the heck out of my hair and get back to shopping. So, fun fact, I am in the toy aisle currently because um, I actually... Do you guys see this? What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's way too late. It's playing music. It's playing music. Stop. Stop. My heart. Stop laughing at me. I haven't seen the movie yet because I'm not like emotionally prepared to just cry for like hours on end. But I'm in the toy aisle because yesterday I found a Hatchimal finally. After like months of still um, after like months of searching because I want to do a video about it on my second channel. I also want to get a Furby, but I can't find a Furby anywhere. Um, but yeah, I wanted to dedicate like an entire video on Hatchimals on my second channel, but they don't have any more. Every time I come to Target, I eyeball the shabby chic bedding. I don't need new bedding, but I always want new bedding. Is that like, does anybody else ever do that? Anytime that I'm bored in life in general, I change my bedroom bedding, but they actually have a lot of really cute bedspreads right now. I really like this one a lot, but white is scary for bedding for me because I like fake tan sometimes and I, I don't know, white in general is kind of scary. Oh, that's cute. How many fuzzy blankies do we have at the house? Like five? Just on the couch alone? It's it's really, really sad. Oh, that's a cute pillow. I just love the home section here. <gasps> Octopus and a panda. Actually, I got a panda lamp at Target the other day. I need an excuse to buy this teepee. It's so freaking cute. I love the colors. What would I do in a teepee? Edit videos? Be productive? Probably not. Fun fact, I actually got a Roomba and a Brava. So the Roomba um, is the vacuum cleaner and the Brava, I don't think they have one out, do they? No, but, oh no, they have one down there. It's for mopping and I haven't used them. <laughs> and I had them, uh, I got them on Black Friday, I think. And I finally used the Roomba for the first time. It was life changing and my dogs and my cat are absolutely, actually, you know what, the dogs are terrified of it. Maka tried to bite it, but the cat doesn't care. I was just literally looking for actually um, bath salts because lately I and everyone in the house has been working out, so we've all been really sore. So I saw Zoella's little line of products. I did not even know these were in the US and I'm about to have like a meltdown. That's so cute. Oh my God, fragrance soap on a stick. She has a fizz bar. Um, what is this over here? A solid fragrance. I'm grabbing all of it. I'm literally so excited that this is in the United States now. Yay, Zoe! Lately, I've actually been back into painting my nails, and it's because all of my nail polish, I think, went bad within a few months of each other. Um, I've said this before, and how I've, like, replaced a lot of it. So recently, I started wearing this Miracle Gel nail polish from Sally Hansen, and I feel like before, you had to, like, cure this in the sunlight or something, or that was, like, recommended from them, and they've taken that out, and it just dries, literally, like under my kitchen light, like I don't have a light or anything. The selection is huge, actually. I'm looking at a couple of these. I'm wondering how much more nail polish do I really need? For me, I'm really, really, really insanely hard on my hands. Like I type all the time. I'm like filming all the time. I, I just do a lot of things with my hands. So I feel like nail polish chips on me really quickly. But this stuff, I even just top it with Sesha Vite, like the fast dry top coat. And I really, really like it. Maybe I need more colors for spring. What do you think? Do I need more nail polish? I just did an Ulta haul, so I don't really want to buy more makeup because I barely use what I currently have, but actually um, they have a really big selection of NYX here, which is kind of cool. I love that NYX is becoming like more readily available. It really has become like a drugstore brand, but they're so pricey, I feel. I guess not more than like L'Oreal or anything, but like this contour palette is like 25 bucks, man. Um, actually, this is a really good eyeshadow palette too, but again, it's like 17. Um, I don't know who that is, but she looks like a blonde Jaclyn Hill. Maybe I'm just saying that because of the winged eyeliner. If you guys liked this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, I love you guys so much and I will catch you soon.